Hello, hello. Welcome back to another one. My name is Braden, and I'm an artist. The nose. Oh, that good old nose. <laughs> it can be difficult, obviously. It's one of those things where when you draw a face, a portrait of someone, anyone, it can be tricky, as if the eyes and the mouth weren't um, hard enough. But don't you stress. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how you can draw three different noses from three different angles. So, what to expect. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how you can use a ring to trace out the first circle, which is the tip of the nose. And then from there, taking that same ring and then tracing out the inside of it so that you have a second smaller circle for the side of your nostril. And that's really it because from there, that's all you need. So you start to trace out your nostril and then build out the tip of the nose and then drawing it up, up to the bridge. And then I'm also going to be showing you some really cool hatching and cross hatching techniques that you can use to manipulate your mid and lower values and just really bring out the character of each of these noses in this lesson today. Yes, it's gonna be awesome. And while we're on the subject of drawing faces and noses and whatever else, I did wanna make clear, I'm on Skillshare. So if you are not following Mr. Creations on Skillshare and you are dabbling in portraiture or maybe it's something you've always wanted to learn, then I highly encourage you to go down to the referral link that I have in the description and sign up. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and then turn on all those notifications so that you never miss when my latest and greatest videos hit the channel here at Messer Creations. All right. Let's draw some noses. Okay, so for this one, we're going to be using a slightly unconventional tool. We are going to be using a ring. And we're going to be using a blue sketch pencil, a red sketch pencil, and a green sketch pencil. Uh, one for each uh, nose that we're going to be drawing today. Okay. So, first up, we are going to be drawing a nose where the subject is looking to their right and slightly down. So, we're going to take our ring here. We're just going to trace around the ring here on the outside and then we're going to move it over and we're going to trace on the inside so that our second circle is slightly smaller than our first. Now this is the foundation, okay? This is the basis of the nose and how I like to do it is I like to draw out the nostril of the nose in question first. That is what I draw out. Just kind of sketch it out and then I solidify it, right? I want that line quality to get a little thicker. I want that um, line weight to be a little darker. And then from there, once I have that established, I can start to very lightly sketch out the tip of the nose. And then once the tip is drawn out, I'm gonna work my way around just like this, just like this and then pull my line up towards the bridge of the nose, just like that, just like that. Okay, so once I have that, every nose kind of goes like this. You have this plane, if you will, on the, on the top of the nose leading up to the bridge, so you can sketch that out and then Every nose, most portraits have the light source uh, above the subject. And so because of that, we do have a lower value on the bottom of the nose, slightly above the nostril. And then here what I'm doing is I'm just 
more or less solidifying the outside edges of the basic shape of the nose. So, and then from here, I'm just gonna pull down, and this is uh, what they call hatching in drawing. There's hatching, and then there's what they call cross hatching. Hatching is where you pull your pencil across the paper one way. Cross hatching is where you pull it across the paper two different ways. So obviously the first way, and then you cross that initial pull with your second pull. And you almost have like tiny little squares or rectangles if you want to think of it that way. Okay, but the biggest thing with this technique is when you're looking at your reference image, you want to keep in mind what I like to call the underlying form of your reference. So notice how I am taking my pencil and I am pulling up right here. Because when you look at the reference photo, that is very much the flow of the underlying form of this particular subject's nose. Obviously, you want to sketch with a very light pressure control. You don't want to push very hard. And the reason why is because you can always go back over areas that need you to go back over it. However, sketching, just like when you render something in charcoal, it's very, very easy to add more. It's difficult to take some away. So I always say, start light and you can always add more later. If you start too heavy or you lower that value too much, sometimes, depending on what medium it is that you're using, it is difficult to lift that medium up off the paper with an eraser. And so then here, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna kinda lower the value of this nostril. And then of course, underneath the nose here, we have a fairly a fairly low value simply because the light's not hitting it that much, but this is just a sketch. That's what this is. We're just sketching. And here I'm going to cross hatch this. See, so those first initial pulls that was hatching. What I just did to solidify our subject's nose that is cross hatching by definition. That's what it looks like. Okay. Just gonna build this up a little bit, beef that up. Wonderful. Let's kind of lower the value here, lower the value there. Now, you can go as long as you want on these renders, but uh, these are just simple sketches. This is how I draw in my sketchbook. Um, if you are an artist yourself, I'm sure you are already aware that sketching and practicing is half of your battle um, as an artist simply because just like an athlete, right? You have to go to the gym, you have to go through repetitions, make sure that your muscles are in shape so that you can continue to perform at your highest level when it comes time for the show. So as artists, it's the exact same thing. Now, our second subject, okay? We have our subject looking straight on uh, versus the first one where they were looking off to their right. So just like with the first one, we're gonna take our ring here. We're going to use the color red for this one, one of my favorite colors. And we're going to just more or less put a circle in the center. And then because our nostrils, we have a left nostril and a right nostril to consider. We're just going to pull the subject's right nostril off to our left, and then we're going to pull the subject's left nostril off to our right and circle on the inside of the ring as opposed to the first circle, which was the outside of the ring, slightly bigger. Okay, so just like the first one, what I like to do is I like to sketch out the top of each nostril as a second step. And what this does is this gives me a very, very good idea of where to start hatching, okay, and building up that underlying form. So from here, what I like to do is I like to pull up pull over and up. And then on this side, we're going to pull over. And we're going to go up. Wonderful. Okay, so the bottom of the nose is pretty much halfway done for us already. All right. And then here, I'm just going to solidify this, right? I'm going to thicken up that line quality. Here we are. Wonderful. And then of course, you know, the correlation between line quality and line weight, as the quality thickens, the line weight typically 
darkens, right? So I'm just going to pull this here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lower the value within the nostril because obviously when you look at the reference photo, the uh, inside of the nostrils of most any nose, um, not necessarily this one alone, uh, tends to be a much lower value. And because of that, we want to go in and we want to lower that value with our sketch. Now, I will say when it comes to this step, make sure that you are still using a light to mid at the very highest pressure because when it comes to these sketch pencils on paper, the last thing that you want to do is um, scratch the paper, right? Or indent the paper because you're using too heavy of a pressure control. Now, from here, what I'm doing is I'm pulling up and I'm just hatching, right? I'm pulling that sketch pencil across the paper one way. I'm not cross hatching, I'm simply hatching. And what this is doing is this is doing a couple things. It's lowering the value for us and it is giving us a sense of form for our viewers. Remember, I've said this in other tutorials. Your job as the artist is to provide your viewer that illusion of form, right? That illusion of that third dimension. Because as an artist, as someone who sketches something onto paper, that paper is always only ever going to be two-dimensional. However, you are more of a magician than you are just somebody who simply draws because you are selling your viewers on the idea that they could reach out and they could touch this nose, right? This nose looks like it has form. So that is your job. And this is how you accomplish that when it comes to noses. So simply here, pull up towards the bridge of the nose, real light. You don't, you don't have to push very hard here at all. And you can use that center circle as the baseline as the foundation for how the bridge of the nose begins, which of course the bridge is in between the eyes. And then we can pull those lines down from the bridge to the tip of the nose. And most any nose, because again, the light source is coming from the top, it's not coming from the side, and it's definitely not coming from the bottom of this reference photo, we can go ahead and we can draw a line across the way and we can start to build up these lower values that we see immediately above the nostrils. And one of the things you will also find with sketching like this is that you can lower values very quickly, just like this, see this? Just like this, go right up against that line that you defined, right, that defined line at the top of the nostril. And just go over it again and again, You use a, use a mid pressure control and that value inside of the nostril will um, gradually get lower and lower. So now that we're going up on the top, we're, we're building that side plane where you basically have um, the top of the nose, right, leading up to the crest and then how it kind of slowly rolls off onto the beginnings of the cheeks and into the eye sockets of our subject. You can go nice and light here. And then this is a good way to kind of bring that top plane, kind of like how I was talking about with the first nose, onto this subject's nose. Now, we're not going to get too carried away with detail work in this tutorial. This is more all about just kind of doing, think of it as... I want you to build up muscle memory when it comes to just busting out of a nose in the sense of its form, all right? Detail work that will come later. Now, here we go. Subject number three. In this reference, they are looking off to their left. So we have a different shape and we have a different angle. So this one, uh, given the shape of the nose, we're going to pull our ring after we've drawn out our initial circle a little farther away from the first circle. And then here, what you can do for references such as this, is you can pull almost think of it as kind of like a staple up into the bridge, right? This is going from the bridge to the bottom left side of our original circle. And then from here, this is where we can start to draw out that nostril, right? The nostrils, the, the second thing that I like to draw once we have our initial circles drawn out. Whoops. Okay. So whenever your pencil breaks like that, 
Just go ahead and grab another one or simply sharpen the one that you have, right? We're all human. We all make mistakes. But it's how we recover from those mistakes that really is the test of our character. So now from here, I'm just building up the subject's right nostril. And I am thickening up the quality and I am darkening up the weight of this line. Then from here, I'm just going to pull out the tip of the nose and then kind of up and over. This particular nose is a little rounder than um, our first nose. So I'm just going to pull this down from the bridge, kind of connect it. And then it looks like you can barely see the top of the other nostril here. So I'm just going to pull up just like that. Wonderful. It's half built already. <laughs> half built. So now I'm just going to pull this up. I'm going to kind of hatch and kind of roll this into that original anchor that I drew in the preliminary steps of this sketch. I'm just going to hatch over here. One of the reasons why I wanted to draw this uh, specific reference is because this nose in particular is very rounded. Everything about it is round, and so I wanted to show you the drawing techniques necessary to accomplish that on paper. So, again, just like the other two, there is a plane on the top. So we're just going to pull that up and over. I'm going to thicken up the line quality on the top of the nose here leading up to the bridge. And then here, now it's all just hatching and cross-hatching, lowering values in specific areas. And of course, what this will do for us is this will give us that sense of form that we want. Just like this, here we go. Then here from right about, right about in here, it's very low value, right? Just, we are not getting a lot of light in here. And then from here, I'm just gonna pull up. I'm gonna hatch it up. Just up, real nice, nice and light. Nice and light. We can always go back over lighter areas and darken them up, right? Lower that quality if we will. But if you go in too heavy handed and all of a sudden you have to revert, it doesn't really work very well, especially with sketch pencils like this, because these things do many things, but they are very hard to erase. So just be aware. And there on that side plane, we just cross hatched a little bit. And then here, I just want to kind of lower this. A lot of times, this specific area of the nose, regardless of what kind of nose it is, especially on a side angle, is going to have the lowest value um, of the entire of the entire nose. So just be aware of that. From here, I'm just going to pull this up, something like that. There we are. That's looking pretty good. Now, I will say, when it comes to sketching like this, guys, if you have a sketchbook or if you just have extra pieces of paper laying around, uh, I would recommend if you take this technique and apply it in your practicing rounds um, before you actually sit down and draw for a client or draw um, for real, um, you can go in and you can probably draw 50, 100, 500, maybe even more of these. And by the time you get to that end nose, make sure you're drawing different types of noses, okay? Don't draw the same one. Make sure you try to get a variation of as many noses as possible. And one of the things you'll discover is that the foundation, right? Those first two or three steps are the exact same no matter what size of nose on any subject. I hope this was helpful. Stay happy, stay healthy, and remember, never stop drawing.